Hey guys, Nick here, Last Stop Reviews, here today with a wireless charging station for the iPhone 3G by Wild Charge. Now I got this in the mail a few days ago and overall I really liked using it. There are a sh few shortcomings on it that I think would be really easy to fix by on the company's part, but it just kind of killed me because of those few, few shortcomings. But overall it is a really nice product and for someone who isn't always changing out cases, I can see it being a very logical product. But guys, let's just jump up to close-up cam so I can show you a little bit more about this. Okay guys, so this is the Wild Charge wireless charging device, really. And it's pretty good, it's, not, it's functional, but there's a lot of downfalls to it. And the first downfall is, if something blocks the metal plate, it stops charging. And it doesn't really have to be that much. It can be a small layer of dust, and this thing starts charging. Now the blue LED indicator light is really nice, but it can be a bit distracting too, because it's definitely as small of an LED as this is, if it's on your nightstand, it might keep you awake. Now the next pitfall I have with this lies in the case itself. First of all, this is a $35 case to replace, and it's not that great of a build quality of case. The holes on it, perfect example, aren't that well cut out. So if you use a 3GS, start, you, you're going to be taking your videos and they're going to be looking like this. An another perfect example is the volume rocker, the case is covering it, the headphones is nowhere near centered, and the silent switch is definitely, sorry, the standby switch is really covered up at there too. So if you hold your phone like this and you apply even a little bit of pressure to the top, it's going to go into standby mode. But the other shortcoming I have of this is with this setup, with this case on your phone, there's you can't sync. The dock's covered and there's no USB on the device itself. So anytime you sync your phone, whether that be a few times a day, a few times a week, or even a few times a month, you have to take the case off, which isn't really that hard of a case to take off, granted, but then you risk putting it on your desk, having something scratch it on your desk, and it's just not that good. And what my biggest concern about this is whenever it's not on the phone, how much like jostling can this take before the cables in here get busted? Now, as you can see, I'm bending a little bit here, but I really wouldn't feel too much comfortable bending it past that point. But overall, guys, this is a nice device in theory. It has a lot of potential in my opinion, but I just don't think it's there yet. I think the company needs to go back, redesign the case, and figure out a way to allow syncing with the case on, get the buttonholes lined up for starters. That's that's like square one in my opinion. Who wants a case that disables some of the functions of their phone? Especially 3GS owners who getting video was one of the main reasons you purchased a 3GS. But Back to the device, it can charge up to five devices at once. So if you have an iPod Touch, you have the iPhone, you have even a Kindle. There's an, there's adapters for a lot of it, but because of the limitation of it, I really can't recommend it. Now, if you do have an iPod Touch, you're not syncing it a lot, yeah, I can recommend it. But if you sync your phone a lot, if you like having a case with nice cutouts, no, I can't recommend this. It's too expensive of a product to have these flaws, in my opinion. The product itself for the skin and the pad is $80. The case is $35 to replace. The pad itself is $50 to replace. So, guys, that's my take on it. I'll put the website up in the comment, bar, comment box so you can go take a look at it yourself, but I honestly cannot recommend this just for those few downfalls. But guys, this is Nick, Last Stop Reviews, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the video. I've got two kind of announcements to make really fast. First of all, the iPod Nano giveaway is going really well. A lot of you have entered, a lot of you have referred your friends, and I want to help you out a little bit. Since I only have one iPod Nano to give away, I'm going to tell you about another very similar giveaway that Mike's hosting over at Insanely Great Mac. Now, you got, I'm hoping you guys are all subbed to Mike. He's got great content. He, it's 10 times better than mine. Go check him out, definitely. If you like my videos, you'll love his videos. But he's giving away an iPod Nano 8 Gen, sorry, 5th generation 8 gigabyte, 
And I believe it's either the Smoke or Silver Edition, so you're not going to get to pick your color, but you're getting a free iPod Nano if you win, so I think you can get over that. But I'll put the link to his video in the comment box. He's running it until he gets 600 unique gift, unique entries. So it might end tonight, it might end a month from now. There's no real telling. Last time I talked to him, though, it's going to be sooner than later because he's got a ton of entries already. Secondly, I want to help you guys out who actually do come and watch my videos on a regular basis and don't just show up whenever it says giveaway in the title bar. So, a lot of you guys have heard of the website Lockers and they have a lot of nice prizes on there and I really want to try to get some prizes on there so I can give back to you guys without breaking the bank too much. So, what I'm going to do is if you guys aren't signed up for Lockers yet, your email account isn't signed up to them, I'm going to give you a way to get three extra entries mainly because you're coming and you're actually watching the videos that don't just say giveaway on them. So what you need to do is just send me a message. Don't put it in the comment bar because then everyone's going to have your email address and that's just not fun. But send me a message with your email address and I will just get on the lockers. I'll send you an invite. I'll get a few extra points for it and then I can get some prizes for the channel. But there's a lot of stuff on there like iPod Nanos, iPod Touches, music skins, just random stuff like that that I really think you guys would enjoy using. So for three extra entries to do that, I'm not going to post the extra entries actually in the main giveaway video because I want to give back to you guys who are actually sticking with me. You're coming and watching my all the videos, not just the giveaway videos. But guys, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up here and I'll check you guys later.